All right, well, let's continue this game. <laughs> Who knows? We might be able to do some other stuff tonight. I don't know. But for now, if you're watching this later on YouTube, ah, uh, yeah. Thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying this so far. You're drinking mango tea as well. Nice. Yeah. It's a gift pack, so there's there's a bit of it, but not a lot of it. I need to get more. I definitely want to get more. Oh, that looks like, what is that? Oh, already got one moon. Down to your last bag of tea. From Mao, your friend sent you. Oh, man. I'm worried that this tea that I'm enjoying now is like a limited edition and they're gonna not sell it after summer, so. I might see how long it can last and. Just go get a bunch of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I forgot that you possessed the zipper. Oh dear, that's great. Oh, thank you for the, uh, Prime Sub remain. Appreciate it a lot. Hello. Just don't judge me too much on the water. <laughs> me and water stages, ice stages, and clown stages. Just expectations tempered. Hey, a uh, game I've been meaning to ask you about, Lelo, is like, uh... Damn it. Lethal Company. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to play it myself. I've watched people play it, but, like, to play it, you need a group of people. I mean, you can play it solo, but... Probably not as fun. But that game... It's... It looks like a lot of fun. Oh man. <laughs> peach. A peach is. If I'm getting store bought iced tea, it's usually peach. So peach is good too. But I'm digging this homemade stuff. It's like good. Probably better for me as well, it's like, doesn't have sugar as much as it. Like, I can control how much sugar I put in it. Did I ever play Phasmo? No, I know. Well, that's the thing, with those kind of games, I've always missed the boat because I just don't have a group of people to play it with because, well, when I play games, it's in the evening my time, and that's basically, Americans are asleep. <laughs> And Europeans are probably, like, halfway through their day, so they're at work, or, like, it's just... I don't have many Aussie friends, would you believe it? Uh-oh. Camera, please! What are you doing? I need, I need to get a moon, and then I'll heal. Very similar bands, vein. I mean, I've seen it. Or like, I've watched streams of it, right? Like, I, I know the gist of it. The, there's one stream that I saw in particular. It's like just a bunch of uh, big Twitch people. Like German985, Vinny from Vine Source, and uh, Stir. And it has probably the funniest moment I've ever seen in that game. So that made me go, yeah, I kind of want to experience it.
If you haven't seen the clip I'm talking about, I can link it. It's it's really good. But just that sort of chaos, I I, I want to see it. What does this sound like Christmas music? Oh, I didn't change. Whoops. It's okay. I can change y'all. Fashionable. Dude just looks like he's gonna go to school. I don't know. This looks like a school outfit to me, like something from the 1930s. Oh, I think I need to be dressed as how... Yeah, okay. I need to dress appropriately. That's fine. I need to find the other coins before I do that. You're running a mod to increase the possible party and had something like seven to eight people out of chaos. I've seen that mod as well, yeah. There's some really interesting mods. It's crazy because it's just another one of these games that was made by one dude. And just exploded and just took off. his fish. First I should probably break this down. Yeah, those prox simity games are pretty funny. Let me become fish. <laughs> oh, okay. The easiest way to just avoid drowning is just keep the fish. Oh, that's the button to go down. Got it. I mean, horror games with proximity is so far all it's the well, the majority of the use cases, but I'd like to see other stuff go with proximity chat. Where's the final one? Should be in this same big room area. Like it shouldn't require me going to land, I don't think. Looking. Find clothing as well. 
but I need more coins. Hey, Corrin, how's it going? Oh, there it is. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's here. It's, it's always been here. Okay, well, there we go. It's Friday? Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad it's Friday. to go down there, but that's okay. How's everyone doing? Well, me... I had a pretty busy day with work. I ordered some food and groceries to save some time and then the delivery driver bailed on me the first time and then the second time well the second delivery driver picked up the wrong bag at both the pizza place and the grocery store so i ended up with the pizza and um a four pack of energy drinks beef jerky and a candy bar for free <laughs> so I mean, I had to wait two hours, and it's just like, well... It's one of those things that's just like, of course I got it for free, because they, me they messed up quite severely. When you think about it. Was it a big grocery list? Well, no, it was only just a few things just to get me through another day if I didn't get time tomorrow. Because I may have had to have done something tomorrow, but then... Um... It cancelled in the end, so... It's fine. I don't have to... Do what I had to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna go see the Wonka movie tomorrow instead. The Legend of My Delivery Luck continues. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's happened quite a few times. Not, like, often, but... In, over the years, like, I've gotten... A few things. I think the best one was when I just ordered a KFC meal and then got a family meal. <laughs> I, I was very happy with that one. The movie was cute. Oh, yeah. I'm going with my brother, his partner, and my niece, so we'll see. this? There's probably something specific that breaks it. It's a good thing I wasn't really waiting on the food. I ordered it early just because I wasn't sure when I was going to finish work, so I was like, uh, if I finish late, then I won't be cooking until later, so at least if I get a pizza, then I'll have a couple slices and I'll be fine. sections. Was it plain pizza? Um, so I got a pepperoni, but then... They deliver to meat lovers. I wasn't complaining about that one. Did 
Did any of us watch The Boy and the Heron? I did. I saw the uh, English version at IMAX. Because, yeah, I went with Nice and... Uh, also, just... The voice acting... Uh-oh. Hang on. The, uh, the voice actors for the English dub were interesting. Like, <laughs> Willem Dafoe as the Heron, it was, it's kind of crazy. Uh, my thoughts on it are, uh, you know, it's a really pretty movie, but some of the story, man, I don't know. Like, when everything was said and done, I was like, wait a minute, so, <laughs> it was just so many things I had questions about, like, hmm. So, let me get this straight. <laughs> it's just... There's a lot of layers of just, hmm, this, this family has problems. Anyway. It's a nice movie. Just, I think the dynamic with the family in it is, is a bit, uh... A bit cooked. <laughs> you look at it on paper. I'll, I tried to put it in a way that was spoiler-free. I'm trying to do the whole Goomba Tower thing, but I messed up. Some things may have gone over your head in terms of Japanese history and Miyazaki history specifically. Well, yeah, I mean, some of it is supposed to be based on his life, and so, I mean... How can I put this without spoiling it? But, like, okay, think about... The main character and the adults in his life, and just, I guess, the relation- the nature of the relationship of the adults in his life. If you were to take into account what happened, it's just like, wait a minute. Just, I guess, the time- the timeline of events, right? That's the main thing. <laughs> the pacing was odd at times, yeah. And it even matches the boss's succeeded, so no way we're giving it back. Oh, it's this dude. I want to I want to say the specific thing, but I, I I think the movie's still new enough that I should just speak in a non-spoiler manner. But I, I thought I, I thought about it pretty much immediately. <laughs> Don't spoil. Yeah, I know. It's okay. If I do that stuff, I'll, I generally go, okay, if you don't want to hear it, mute for like the next minute or so. Not that what I'm going to talk about is like a major plot point anyway, it's just an observation. But still. Okay. 
I have... I've had people in my life that, like, when they start talking about something, within the first 30 seconds, they pretty much will tell you the major plot point or just reveal of whatever they're talking about. So, b believe me, I <laughs> can't. The etiquette I have on that is is a lot more reasonable than some people. It's just, yeah, it's, man. Oh, there's another fighter. What am I looking at here? It's like a picture of it. Oh, one of the bones is missing. Okay. Okay, so I want to do the Goomba Tower thing. I think if something's like a year old, that's when... It's at the, uh... The limitation, you know, it's like, if something's a year old and you still haven't seen it, it's just like, eh. That's where I'm less accommodating when it comes to spoilers. It might seem like an arbitrary number, but that's where I personally draw the line. You two have met some of those, like a walking version of one of those commercials just tells you the whole plot in it, yeah. Yeah. This is another kingdom I like just because of the colors. Cool. to fish. Have I played until dawn? I have not. It's super annoying when something is years old and people are like, spoilers, dude, if you cared that much, you would have watched and played it within the first year it came out. Get that everyone is busy, but not everyone can get to stuff right away, but years later. Can't expect everyone to keep quiet about things forever. Yeah. I know. That's the thing, it's... You know, it's... I know someone's gonna say, Oh, you spoiled it, but I'm gonna say it. It's like... It's not like I open up a conversation with Darth Vader is Luke's father, you know? Like, there's a lead-in to the conversation, so within that lead-in, you can decide whether or not you want to still listen to the conversation. And particularly in the context of streaming, it's just like... <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, anyway, particularly in the context of streaming, it's just... There's the choice to mute it. But it's okay. That guy... Again... I generally announce stuff. Um, would I play it? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's like on the top of my list of things that I want to play. I don't really know a whole lot about it, to be honest. I just know of the title. If it's something that, I guess, if you need multiple people to play it to get the most out of it, then probably not. <laughs> I kind of struggle with that already with other games I want to play. I'm not a fan of the spooky 
game genre. Uh, I've played some. I wouldn't say it's like my primary thing. Like, I played Last of Us. Back in the day, I played Left 4 Dead with friends because it was fun. And two. But, I mean... Before that, I would... If I was to play a spooky game, I'd probably check out, like, the Resident Evil games. Like, I heard 4 is really good and it's gotten a remake. It'd be one of those things that, uh, it's like, you know, I'd have to have a personal interest in it. As, like, a primary drive, but also, I guess, people here would also have to be interested in it as a whole. Because it's just, there's not enough time to play everything. They have to be selective. the only time it's okay to get annoyed at like something old being spoiled is if you establish that you're currently watching said old piece of media because then you've said it and if the person then chooses to kind of proceed to talk details about it and go over the top in detail then of course you're right to be annoyed but at the outset, like, in just general conversation, like, I don't know. Tough thing. Can't expect the whole world to cater to your current interests, though. No, but like, you know, like, let's say someone asks if I've watched a particular TV show, for example. And I say that I haven't, but I'm going to, or like, oh, I'm in the middle of watching it, then of course the etiquette is, well, don't spoil it, right? It's not catering, it's just etiquette. But having that expectation just 24-7, that's, yeah. That's less reasonable. I mean, I've gotten what I need, but there's still... I guess I can go buy the outfit now and get in that door. To see, I'd like to get through a bunch of games that I've kind of just had on the backlog and also just stuff that I might have played a long time ago but either didn't get to stream or when I did it was just at a point in time where I just didn't have that many people around so but they're big games so there's nothing really major that I'm thinking about playing yet there's a few Nintendo games coming up but other than that I gotta get around to God of War Ragnarok. I still gotta play that game. And then there's a couple of other games that I need to play just so I can do videos on them on YouTube. One of them being one of the Wario games. There's one more that I haven't played. And then I'll have played all of them. One game that is old, you don't want to get spoiled from, but for some reason can't get to play as Outer Wilds. 
Yeah, that's fair. I mean... So in that regard, if I was talking about Outer Wilds right now for some reason, right? And you hadn't said that, and I was talking about it, and then someone said, Oh, spoilers! It's like, oh, come on, man. You can choose not to listen. But if we were talking just like, you know, I was talking to you through chat, and you asked about the game, and then we were having a conversation about the game, then, well, then my etiquette is, well, I won't spoil that game for you, because, you know, you've expressed that you're interested in playing it, and I wouldn't want to ruin that experience. <laughs> so, it's, it's a balance, right? You'd leave if you heard about the game. Yeah, and that's fair. Honestly, fair. It is a very good game, though, I'll, I'll say that. I have played it myself. I haven't tried the DLC. I heard the DLC is pretty good, too. It just takes a bit to get getting used to initially. Oh, wait, I've already done this one. I might get around to the DLC one day. Just seeing if there's anything else in this main room before I go. Alright. Into the special door. Oh, that place is on block now, too. Some of them it's just... Over time, eventually you do get... The area unblocked. There's one game where... So I haven't played it yet. But... The thing is, I know that it's a game that people get very, very backseaty over. And I feel like I should just play it. Just... Maybe off-stream. But I just haven't had time. You know, I still haven't played Undertale, and I've, I've, it's one of those things that... That game is old now. It's, it's like... Okay, it's not that old, but it's old enough where it's beyond that limitation of, well... I can expect to get spoiled on it. Wait, what is... I forgot what this does. Oh, I think I need to... Oh, I see. It's just fitted in. Okay. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, that game's up my alley, but I guess I just, I, I missed the boat on it. Just has one of those reputations where it's one of those games where there's just a very... ...passionate fan base, I want to say. It's like, there are people that are really into it, but then amongst that crowd... There are people that, like, will want you to play the game a particular way, and if you don't play it that way, they get annoyed. And they're just very quick to spoil it, even if they don't mean it. It also comes from just the fact that that game tends to draw in a younger crowd as well. It's just that kind of game. I think that's part of the reason, like, I'm taking a couple days off a week as well, is just if I do want to play a game in my own time, I guess I'm kind of making time for that now. Stuff where it's like, okay, maybe I, I know that it might not be the most entertaining thing to watch, or maybe it's just something where I feel like I should have played it a long time ago and I might have my reasons for not playing it on stream. I can do that now.
No, come on, I can get up there. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't sound too negative. <laughs> I'm sorry if it does. I, I try not to be that way. There we go. I'm still trying not to spend any clones, really. Just so I can buy costumes later. Expensive ones. Wait, does that have a... That might have a rear side. Hang on. Aha! Good, 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 good. I'm surprised I made that. <laughs> okay. Hey, Messiah, how's it going? How's things? Uh oh. That's fine. It's fine. Wait, no, it's not. No, it's not. Grab the ledge! <laughs> Shit, I didn't grab the ledge. Whoops. The dust sprites look lurker if you'd like it. Yeah, they look like. Do you know the. That sherbet powder or whatever. Like, I don't know if they have the brand there, but we have it. We have something called Whiz Fizz here, and then it's just sherbet powder. It just comes with a little spoon, and you eat it. Yeah, Whiz Fizz. It's just powder. You know, candy powder that's, uh,. Ugh. You'll know it when you see it. it. Is this like an Australian thing? Whiz Fizz, hang on. They have popping candy, but yeah, okay, this this is it. You know, upon having this image, it does look bad. Uh, but just hear me out, okay? Oh man, when it, when this is 4K, it becomes crusty. But like this, it's a little it's a little pouch, a plastic pouch, and then it's like the sugary powder that is sometimes sour, or sometimes it's, it's tingly. It's almost like popping candy. It's like it's a powdered sugar, but it's it can be sour or it can be tingly in your mouth. Cocaine for children. Well, you don't snort it; you eat it. It's called sherbet. Do, do, do you? It's sh sh surely sherbet. <laughs> Come on, someone from the UK, help me out. <laughs> Thank you. Sherbet. You've had Fun Dip. Yeah, I mean, I imagine the local version is called Fun Dip. Here it's called Whiz Fizz. It's just a brand different. Okay. <laughs> well, I almost messed that up. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is when someone eats that powder, that's the face they make. It's just even the advertising, they had cartoon characters that had faces like that. That's what I was trying to get at. That's why I brought it up. Uh, it wasn't random. Do we have Pop Rocks? Uh, we do, but they're not called that. They just have various names. Hmm. 
Wait, what do you- it sounds like glue? Whizfizz sounds like glue? <laughs> oh yeah, get some Whizfizz. Well, you haven't had Whizfizz? Have you not had Whizfizz? Baby bottle pops? We haven't had that here either. A lot of candy is just... we. There's some that overlap, but then there's others where it's just we have our own unique stuff. swim together. I wonder if this is anything. Yeah. Oh, no. I am fish. I swim with you now. Out of the way, please. Find them. I forgot how to get into this particular room. <laughs> nice mustache, Mr. Fish. <laughs> They're great. I like that everything gets a mustache. It was a lollipop shaped like a baby's bottle and it had sugar stuff inside. Yeah, I don't think we had that. Yeah, I've got some Coke as well. I'm opening my can of Coke. It was called Double Dip? Okay. Well. Maybe we were a little strange in the naming convention, admittedly. It's not... The idea is not strange, at least. There's nothing on that side. Crap, that's a lot of Goombas. I remember this. It's not on timer, is it? <laughs> Take them all down. Okay. 
There's usually a oh, no. I was gonna say there's usually a second moon in this area. These sub areas. I'm not giving up yet. Or at least just more to do. There's this area to the side here. There we go. Got the moves. Okay. I fell into an abyss, it's okay. It's done now. I don't know if I- <laughs> I was gonna say, if I can get safely back, well. The answer is no. I'm just collecting the coins. Okay, well, this is going well. No, but it has the moon on its back. I already got the moon, whatever it was, off it. That one. I'll see if I can talk to the bird and get it to identify ones. A love heart candy stick. I mean, I wouldn't say there's a brand of it, but I've seen them around. I think the candy that I used to go for as a kid were just nerds. The Wonka stuff, you know? Nerd ropes, yeah, nerd ropes are good. Found some common ground on candy. <laughs> candy that did not have a foreign name, you know? The lollipop brand that's big here is uh, Chopper Chop. You have those as well? Okay. For a sec there, I was worried that people were gonna go, Chopper Chop? What's a Chopper Chop? Chopper Chop sounds so Aussie. Sounds like a paint or something. I didn't want to say glue, because glue's already been said, but like... Yeah, the way Nikto spelt it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a... Yeah, where can I put this? Keep an 
I open? That one's easy. I'm just not sure where I've seen like a... <gasps> no! A place to place this. Wait. Oh crap. I think I have my answer. It's over there. I see dirt over there. <laughs> okay. I like the little sounds Mario makes when he's walking in these flippers. Don't you dare. Okay. Yeah, listen to it. <laughs> like a little, little waddle. Putting this. At least it doesn't cry when I drop it. Oh, the Yoshi's Island thing. <laughs> it's both the fact that Mario cries and just how the countdown starts at an extreme like, oh, this is the worst thing in the world. Just the sounds it's making. It's a mix of both of those things, it's just... It's the countdown and the fact that the baby's crying, it's both. Dude, I have no idea what to do with this nut. Where does Mario not, I mean, place the nut? Where does Mario place the nut? That's what I said. Uh oh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I didn't go in the fish quick enough. I was trying to jump inside the fish. To get my air back. You hate it when something touches your feet or something when swimming. Full panic mode. It's usually seaweed most of the time. Or, uh, just some sort of plant. If you're going at a lake. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, it's down there. There it is. I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I wouldn't say it's an overreaction. Like, if you're swimming and something touches you... It's just instinctual to worry. <laughs> I guess it depends what you mean by overreact.
Wait, you can't see a feet in the ocean. There, really? It's not crystal blue, it's dark. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I love how... It's just a lot of... Well, the non-Americans are like, wait, what's with the water? What's wrong with the water? I, I kind of felt the same way when my cousins from LA said they never drank tap water. And I'm like, wait, you don't drink tap water? Why not? And then they explain there's like some parts of the country where you just straight up can't drink tap water. Which I, I just find wild. I gotta go the long way around. I'm still carrying this thing, like, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. You're watching a Norwegian series now where they can't drink tap water, like it's some really strange thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, here you just, yeah, I can't say I know anywhere where you can't drink tap water. You can drink tap water, it's not really recommended. Okay, gotcha. Still, it's like, I don't think there's there's a warning here that says you shouldn't. It's like, I'm, I just say, well, yeah, you can drink tap water. And that's the end of the sentence. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's no, like, strings attached. Just drink the tap water, it's fine. There we go. Okay, come back for that later. Pipes can still get old and gunky, like, everywhere. That is true. Maybe in an older house, like, fil filtration systems might be a good idea, but in general, I've just never really heard it. <laughs> oh, you have to go from under. Depends on how old the plumbing is. Yeah. Water quality is terrible for your city, especially in your apartment cop. Like super old, terrible pipes. Yeah. I think here, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's certain minimum standards that places need to keep that they can be rented, and I think one of them is, is water quality, if I'm not mistaken. That's something that's got to be upkept. Same with electricity. Like, you know, I've talked about this before. Just people being weirded out by just Australian power outlets. Australian power outlets have switches on them. All of them do. So when you plug something in, there's a little switch next to it. So you can turn that off at the wall. It's like a hard requirement. You will not, you will not find many places that don't have that. It's extremely rare. Like, you'd probably be in the middle of nowhere in a very old house. Why? Because it's safety. It's like, if you need to plug something into the wall, there's no power. You can flick the switch off and have no power running to it. To it. So there's no risk of, like, something bad happening for some reason. Right? And then you just flick it on. Also, if you want to just completely cut power to it at night, you just flick it off and you don't have to unplug it. That's that's why we have it. It's like both a safety thing and also it's power energy conservation, you know? But I didn't know that. I thought this was I thought it was just a normal thing. Like, okay, everyone has this, but then when I started talking about this one day where I was like I was plugging in something and I forgot to f the kettle, right? How 
I kept talking about how, oops, I forgot, I forgot to flip on the switch to the power on the kettle. And people were confused by that statement. I'm like, well, I need to, f it's plugged in. It's just, I haven't flipped the switch. And people were like, what do you mean the switch? It's like, the switch. It's like, it's on, it's on the outlet. You don't have a, a switch on your outlet. And then, yeah, I, I learned that, um, apparently it's an Australian thing. So I don't know. I mean, I, I like it as a safety thing. But alright, think, think about this, right? Like, let's say you have a child and they grab a fork and they stick it in the power outlet. You know, that thing is live. Here, provided you've turned it off, like the switch isn't on, it's, it's off. You know? Think of it that way. Like, there's just... You have outlet covers? We don't need outlet covers. It's just a, a switch. Although I guess getting an outlet cover wouldn't hurt as well. But... Okay, I think I've done what I can from memory. Now I need to find the bird. Not the toad. Because the toad is going to charge me. The bird gives you free hints. Tell the kid not to do that. Well, I'm talking about a child that doesn't understand that. One that doesn't have the ability to communicate and understand yet. But could accidentally, like, grab a fork. They will learn no. I don't think they'll learn no. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty catastrophic when that happens, no? Where's this bird? There shouldn't be a flock on the floor either. Well, sometimes, no matter how careful you are, sometimes life happens. Sometimes it's just, it's an accident. It's one of those freak accidents. I've forgotten where the bird is. I swear I saw it somewhere, but I don't remember where. Is it on top of the... Hang on, did I go down there? Aha! Alright, there's more. I just have three more coins to go. But outside of that... You've never had one of your kids do that. Yeah, I mean, what I'm talking about is, like, it's not so much a... a thing where it's a thing about neglect or, like, incompetence, right? It's just... Sometimes... people slip up, and they might be, like, the most rational people ever, and it's just, like, a minor mistake that... leads to just something catastrophic. And I guess here, that's just, the outlets have been designed in a manner where there's just safety involved, so then freak accidents are less likely to happen. That's all. Like, you know, there's common sense, of course, and there are people that don't follow that, and, well, if stuff happens and you're not following common sense, then who can you blame, really? But... Sometimes, even with common sense, it's just accidents happen.
But I mean, yeah, the flipping stuff off and not having to unplug it to remove power from it is, is useful. Where's this little bastard? <laughs> I've been looking for him for a while. From the broken pillar. Okay. Lake gardening, spiky passage seed. Our little secret room. Okay. Well, that one's like very vaguely. Okay. Well, this one still hasn't grown yet. Okay, we need to look at the pillars. Broken pillar. Well, oh, this is a broken pillar. Well, column pillar? What would you call this? It's like a column. I don't think it's this. I'll do as much as I can without resorting to the tide, and then we'll leave the kingdom. Come back later. This convo reminds you of when your landlord did maintenance on your apartment recently. You're in the living room on the computer, and the guy looked you dead in the eye and flipped off the breakers. What? Why? <laughs> Just like, I'd scare the crap out of the guy. I'd be like, oh, the company I work for, by the way, um, you corrupted one of our documents by flipping that power switch off. So, you know, they're wondering why sensitive documents were uh, corrupted by a power outage. Would you be able to give a response on that matter? Yeah, that's, that's a really dick move. See, if that were to happen here, you'd be able to take them to, like, to court. There's like a... There's like a tenant's court thing that the government runs, so if, for situations like that, you can absolutely take them to court, and you'd probably win. Because here, landlords aren't allowed to enter your property unless they give... A like a minimum of 48 hours notice and the 48 hours is like typically for emergency routine only and then inspections are only allowed like I think once every three months at most and they have to write like have written communication that they're doing an inspection there's like so much stuff they have to do to even be able to come and visit the property and they also have to state their intentions as well. The dude barely spoke English, so you couldn't ask him. Man, that blows. Alright, so I mean, this is what... Well, these are two broken columns, but I don't think this is what I was referring to. This is a nice chill kingdom. I do like it, but if I'm running out of things that I can find naturally, it might get boring.
I got all the currency. So I can go buy the uh, the final item. I mean, the fact that you're saying the dude looked to you in the face before doing it, that's... If he did it without doing that, it's an honest mistake, but that is pretty spiteful. It could be just one of these dudes that just... I don't know. They just have some random belief about power. That's not true. wasn't there. Okay, fish is okay. Wait, so... A broken pillar. And these are broken as well. Ground pounding every broken pillar there is. Oh, wait, that's a broken pillar. That one's clearly toppled and broken, but I don't think it means that. Oh, there we go. Okay. random. Sure. Okay, so the other thing it says is, like, spiky path. Band of Light Kingdom Art. That one's later. Keep talking to him. Oh, he doesn't want to reveal anything else. Okay. Let me go to the shop. Real quick. This is still growing. It's almost there. You are lucky you weren't doing something important on that. He didn't damage your PC, since everything was fine. You were more than baffled than just anything else. Yeah. I mean, no joke. The dude could have done something where he destroyed something important or actually damaged your PC. Here, so, I mean, here we set up our own connections to power, and we manage that connection to power, typically. So my landlord doesn't have control over the power here, I do. Like, I, the account is under my name, and I authorize, like, if it gets shut off or whatever. And they don't have access to the circuit breaker, like, that's just me. I guess it's in a it's in a situation where the landlord lives in the building along with you, then that's probably where the issue lies. That's where it's probably more difficult to avoid that shit. I think I'm done for now. Unless I find something in the next couple of seconds, I'd say, yeah, let's go to another kingdom. I'm going to have to do everything now. But I did try to do as much as I could. How am I doing anyway? Oh. I've actually done pretty well. There is that seed still that hasn't grown. I'm not sure what it means by spiky garden. 
Do I plan on the 100% or the casual ending? I mean, I'll try and go for 100%. That's why I'm saving coins. But if it becomes a case where I'm, like, grinding coins for costumes, eh, maybe not. We'll see. For now, I at the very least plan on getting every stage-based moon. Including the final ones. It's just... It's the goal that I'll commit to. The others, it's like, well, if it happens, and it happens without me having to spend hours grinding for coins, then I'll do it. I'll play this for as long as people are still entertained by it or are willing to watch it. Getting all the moons is a lot. Yeah, it is. But this isn't a garden, though. I'm hoping that just by going in and out of these doors, it makes the plant grow. Watch that forever. But some of it is just wandering around, and you're not really doing anything. Still nothing, huh? It has grown. It's cozy. Yeah. It's fair enough. Like an Animal Crossing. But I am doing things in that. Like, I am working towards a goal in it. There's a goal. Yeah, I'm making my houses look nice overall. I have particular themes in mind and I just have to get items and I'm getting flowers that are a particular color. I get what you're saying, like it's the same premises. To some, it might seem like I'm doing nothing. So I'm trying right now to, as I'm going, collecting coins, extra coins where possible. But see, with the Animal Crossing stuff, I'm mixing practical things in the middle. Like, the house design stuff where I go make a villager house, and that has just a bunch of stuff that I'm doing. At least with this, it's, well, I'm collecting coins as I'm getting moons, but eventually when the moons run out, I just don't want to just be collecting coins. I'm just gonna wait for this thing to be done. And then we'll go. <laughs> okay, the pixel art on that is great. I love how all the costumes have pixel art. I just wanted to see that. Did you hit me with my, your roommate's latest? Would you rather? No. I mean, the last one was the, uh... Like, what was it? It was... Would you rather... Date... Someone that was just... You know so weeb that it hurt, like, to the point of cultural appropriation. Or someone that was a furry, and, you know, just proudly so. Which I didn't find anything too wrong with that, it's like... I'm just killing time here. Do you guys do this constantly? Just what ifs. <laughs> I 
I mean, I'm doing this to get coins. Every moon gives you coin. Would I rather never be able to taste food again or never be able to hear music again? If I was to lose one, which would it be? I'd say probably food. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to lose that one. So, wait. Music, sorry. I, got, I flipped it. <laughs> My bad. Well, hang on. Like, when you say not hearing music, you, do you mean going deaf completely? Or just specifically not being able to answer music? Because if I lose music but I can still hear stuff, then that's fine. But if you're talking about, like, complete sense of hearing versus complete sense of taste, I'd pick, um, keeping hearing and losing taste. And so it depends what we're talking about here. Is it complete loss of the sense or just specifically music? Like, for some reason, your brain can't interpret it. There's a nuance to this question. I should talk to people more. Alright, we're done here. For now. You imagined it as just specifically music, but you can still other stuff. And still, you picked no taste. Okay. Gotcha. I mean, I, I, I find happiness in food. There's just some food that makes me happy. And calming, you know? Voiceover? Oh, well, I don't know, this game does... This is one of these games that I just play as a platformer. Like, Mario, to me, growing up, didn't have story, so... <laughs> I don't... I don't read Mario games, I just treat them as like, oh, I'm just playing Mario. My mindset's not in it. Ever heard of a wedding with a stolen dress? Let's get after that tackless fiend. Seeing as how we, oh yeah, see, and then some of it's just this, like it's just yeah, yeah. Tell tell me about stuff. <laughs> it's the wrong game for it. There was one sentence in there, and then the rest were tutorial. Right, this is the first time you encounter him. But yeah, I guess to each their own. I just the the other thing I know, like it applies to music as well. But food, there's certain foods that just evoke certain memories for me, you know. And just eating them, and maybe sometimes sitting down and eating them with a friend, just nostalgia, conversations, that sort of thing happens. And to, to some people, like, in my life, that's how they express their love, is, like, through food, and just not being able to taste that, man, it'd be heartbreaking. There you go, there's a voice. <laughs> that's all he's saying. 
I'm busy planning my wedding. Don't you know how stressful that is? <laughs> the social component to food is bigger than with music, yeah. I didn't need to think about it much, like, I, don't get me wrong, like, there's music to me is important too. Particularly when working, you know, I can't imagine getting through a workday without music, right? It's just... Music helps me get to that point where, like, I'm in focus and, you know, I'm completely into what I'm doing and just things flow a lot better, right? It's definitely a thing for me. But I didn't need to think about it too much because the whole... Like, uh, social aspects of food, I've had that a lot, and it's important. More important than that. But yeah, that's, that's my answer. <laughs> But you, you know, you know, you know the thing is, for me to answer it that quickly, it means I would have had to have thought about it to some degree, and I probably have at some point, and that's why I was able to answer it. It's not that I gave an answer in, in 15 seconds, right? It was more that I've had the answer for years. Without music, you'd go insane. Just you alone with your thoughts. Doesn't sound pleasant. But I guess that's that's why I wanted the elaboration of like, is it just specifically music or is it the sense of hearing completely? Like, you could still enjoy an audiobook, for example. An audiobook isn't music. You'd be able to still listen to me playing and talking about this game, you just wouldn't hear the music. You still have Bowser sounds and everything. That's why, I, that's the nuance I wanted to, like, explore. Why'd I do that? I was looking at the other screen. My bad. I thought I was in the middle platform. You respect the answer. When she asked you that one, you were upset, actually. Like, why you gotta put me in that situation? <laughs> Not tasting food means you eat less and would have no interest in eating unhealthy. I don't know, not necessarily. It goes both ways, it's like you just wouldn't care about what you ate, specifically. Often, unhealthy eating doesn't come from the want to eat unhealthy food. It can also come from a place where it's just... It can be laziness sometimes, honestly. It's like, sometimes it's just easier to go get takeout instead of cooking, right? Like, that doesn't change just because you can't taste it. So, if I completely lost my hearing, I'd lose taste. Yes. Because I think hearing is important. That means that I would not be able to experience certain things with, um, stuff that I enjoy. That's all. Whereas in, you know, if it's music, at least you still got the other components of, um, media and conversation that can keep you sane. Do you know what I mean? Whereas in the food, you, you're losing nostalgia, um, you're losing some enjoyment, and there's also like a social side that you lose as well. At least with just losing music, it's just one component. It's a big component, but it's not like the end of the world. I feel like it's, it's worse to lose taste. But if you're talking about the sense as a whole, then yeah, I would keep hearing over taste.
Oh, you dick. Forgot about the tail spin. Do, 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 do. It's another tail spin. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I thought of that all of a sudden. Wait, can I block? I can't block, I gotta... Oh, I have to stay in the vicinity? Yes! There we go. <laughs> Get walloped. Yeah, that wasn't too bad of a hypothetical. Bowser looking fresh and white. <laughs> I can only imagine if Jack Black was to voice it as well, and did the whole music routine. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, both music and taste, definitely a personal enjoyment thing. They have overlap in terms of what they mean to people. But, you know, on the deepest level for me, I think food, taste, Versus just music. Yeah. It wasn't wasn't too much of a a struggle to think about an answer. Ah, yeah, where are we now? Oh no, the Odyssey is all busted up. We need some power moons to fix it. Let's get looking. Again, the walking. The sound of the walking, I love it. Such a subtle thing, but it's it's so good. Oh no, I, f I remember these birds! That was not your experience. The question felt like a physical attack to you. Oh, because you, you're into your music, that's why. Like, not just on a listening level, but also it's just, it's your creative outlet. I'm sure, like, a chef would feel that way. Someone that was really passionate about food, but not music, would probably feel the same way. But me, you know, I enjoy both, but I wouldn't say, like, it's either is my creative outlet. So I don't have that extra level of, uh... What's the word? Emotional investment, I guess? I don't know. Sorry, it's like after midnight, so sometimes to articulate my thoughts, it's it takes a couple more seconds than usual. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to tiptoe around what I'm trying to say. I'm genuinely like just trying to express the bare minimum of what I'm trying to say. Your roommate who asked was on the same page as you. Too much on food to give up taste. Don't get your don't get you wrong. Even though you decided it was close, you struggled with it. That's fair. Tiptoe by the window. Song. I don't I don't know the song. <laughs> it's just another reference to like a show that I I just won't know of. I think at this point, you know, we had different TV shows in Australia. How do I... forgot how to do this. I'm gonna smack him from underneath somehow. Oh. 
I don't know Tiny Tim. Can't say I do. Thanks for the rescue. That was unpleasant, rather pokey. Sure hope it doesn't happen again. And now to pluck our spirits, let's go collect some moon. It's a weird song. Okay. Yeah, I know nothing of it. Oh man, the, the face on these things, but... Am I gonna listen to it? Not now. I wish I could, but you know... There are risks that you, that one takes when you listen to music that could potentially either mute the VOD and or prevent it from being uploaded later. <laughs> or worse, get you a copyright strike. It's just, these are the times we live in. They would mute the VOD for sure, then yeah, definitely a no. I don't do it to be mean or like, you know, uninterested. It's just the reality of things. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. What am I doing? You found streamers have found some way to play music on stream so it's not recorded in the VOD. Well, okay, so here's the thing. There is a way to do that. But... There's a misconception that makes it completely safe. It doesn't. Like, all it does is... The VOD later doesn't get a... You know, the music on it. But the live stream itself still can get a takedown. Like... It has happened. It's not likely, but it can happen. So all it does is just makes the VOD safe, but it doesn't completely make the whole situation safe. It just removes one risk, but the risk is still there. It's just something that I, I would just hate to lose what I have over just listening to something, you know? So I choose not, not to risk it. It's too important to me. Call it an irrational fear, but yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to lose anything. Not that it would be, you know, one strike and I'm out. It's more of a, like, well, thinking super long term. <laughs> Sometimes something dumb will happen and, you know, I don't want to waste one of my strikes, if that makes sense. The strike downs on Twitch have been quite harsh at times. Yeah, I, the irrationality is more like thinking it's going to happen, particularly the one that's live. That might be seen as irrational because the, the odds are admittedly low, but it's just, you know... I can make the odds zero by just not, not tempting fate. That's all. I know you're supposed to use the caterpillar here, but I'm going to do it this way. Oops. <laughs> the 
The odds of a coconut landing on your head are pretty low, but you would still avoid walking on the palm trees. <laughs> it's kind of the same here. It's like the odds of being attacked by a magpie are pretty low, but I tend to like go away from trees that have magpies in them because I don't want to get pecked. That was so Hawaiian. Yeah, I know. Lelo. Showing the Hawaiian thing. It's okay. I had my, like, so central slash South American moment when I woke up in the morning and I swear I smelt burnt beans and it was because someone definitely burnt some beans. I knew exactly that smell. <laughs> I knew exactly what it was. To the point where I even know what kind of beans they probably use. Are they trying to attack, I guess? Oh. oh no, it's fine. Go in here, go in here. This is safety. Hey, it's Toad. I don't want to do the Toad voice. <laughs> I could very well do the Toad voice. Every, every time I do Ted's voice, it, it hurts it hurts my uh, my vocal cords a little. Because I, I can't do just a normal one that, you know, doesn't do that. It's just, I have to do the over-exaggerated one. I can't control it. Is that anything? Oh, there we go. I'm really hoping that I get into the beta for the new Twitch video quality stuff. Because then I can finally do the stuff in 4K. And then you can see what I'm seeing with the upscaler. It said first come, first serve, so I, I did apply pretty early, but who knows how many other people applied. Even if I don't get in, it's fine. It's like about time they did it. <laughs> Interesting question. Does Lelo even like coconuts? I guess he can be from Hawaii and not like coconuts. Apparently I used to like coconut, um, like this coconut beverage as a kid. But then as an adult, I don't know, I tried it again. I just it didn't gel with me. <laughs> Some coconut desserts I like. probably look at finding the store. I think I can afford the clothing. Oh, 
Nectar, you're gonna try and see a palm tree before you die and have some coconut? You haven't seen a palm tree? Yeah, see, there we go. We live in a completely different planet. Well, see, we have palm trees here that don't have coconuts, and we have palm trees that do. Like, not all palm trees do coconuts. In the store for sure, but not growing outside. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, right, it's the bomb thing. Well, I tried. Like here along the beach, there's there's palm trees, but they don't have coconuts, at least not to my knowledge. But then if you go to um, the northern state, the palm trees there do, which is like pretty tropical. Or well, the northern territory. I don't know why I keep saying northern state. It's a territory. Or Queensland. mostly have pine trees. We have pine trees, just not, I guess, native growing. We'll see them. Just, yeah, they're not, I, I don't know. They're around. Because Europeans brought them here, so. Again. Am I wasting my time here? Oh no, it, it actually shoots. Okay, so I need to... I don't know why I was trying to break that thing. Like, that thing is nothing. Who knows if the thing you've tasted is even coconut. That is possible. It's like wasabi, like most wasabi is made out of horseradish in other countries. Um, unless it's specifically coming from Japan or Australia. Australia and Japan are the only places where wasabi grows natively. Uh, the rest of the times it's like if it's manufactured in countries other than those places, it's generally horseradish. Or it could be that it's processed, like, imported, but... I learned that that's a thing, like, it's typically horseradish. Because it has a similar sensation. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. Survived. I definitely did that the complicated way. I think I'm supposed to use the worm. Or like truffles as well. So a lot of the time when something is truffle flavored, it's... Well, it's... Questionable. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Because truffles are expensive. What? Should be able to reach. There we go. Eating a coconut or drinking the milk straight off a tree is okay. And can 
excuse the TMI, give you the shits real bad. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Well, there's a difference, right? It'd be... It's, I don't think it's TMI in the sense of, like, you're just saying what ha what can happen. If you were to tell a story where you ate a coconut and then that happened, then yeah, that would be a TMI. Because we're getting the mental picture of that happening to you versus just generally talking about the coconut experience, at least in my eyes. Am I wrong? Am I wrong on that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh man, on the topic of TMI, sometimes, you know, I don't browse Reddit that much anymore, but sometimes people send me funny shit. And this friend of mine sent me this... This post on, like, dating advice. And maybe it's a bit too TMI and, like, not suitable for work. <laughs> but, um, how can I put it? Lightly. This dude was complaining that his girlfriend was, um, you know, doing something with one of her body parts that's exclusive to women, making it sound like it had a voice, almost like a puppet, but like, you know, having voices, and would do a Grover voice, and the guy was unhappy about it, you know, so she's perfect, she's quirky, she's dorky, but she keeps doing this thing. What <laughs> she does this Grover voice. <laughs> <laughs> and just the, the the thread, man. Oh my god! Like a lot of people saying that she was a catch, and it's just uh, it was an unhinged thread. I found it funny. I was like, I'd laugh at that. It's just the the part where it's just not only is it a voice, but it's a Grover voice. So it's like a girl doing a Grover voice. I'd find that hilarious. That can't be true. Well, that's the thing. Sometimes on Reddit, I feel like some of these things, they might be stretching the truth a little, but you just have to take them at face value and just assume that, yeah, they're true. I can, I can read the exact, the exact text if you want. Like, I still have the image. <laughs> just have to dig it up. At the same time, Stranger Things have happened, I assure you. Oh yeah, no, for sure, like... Yeah, Stranger Things do happen. <laughs> it's an oddly specific thing for someone to make up as well, yeah. That's the thing. But, you know, the advice the dude was like, how do I get her to stop? <laughs> I don't know, man. Can... Alright, I found the photo. <laughs> or the screenshot of it. Ugh. You're on my camp on that one. You don't, you just laugh because it's funny. Yeah, dude, I'd find it funny. And that's the thing. It's like sometimes when dudes say that they want a girl who's funny, they don't mean that. They want a girl who laughs at their joke, typically. That's what they really mean. Don't 
I'll tell you what, I'll replace, I'll replace the word with just body part, okay? So, my girlfriend makes her body, ta body part talk to me, in quotes, and will not stop. She's amazing, cute, funny, emotionally self-aware, great communication skills, everything I've ever wanted. She is also quirky and dorky, which is new for me, but I enjoy it. After a lifetime of dating bad bitches, I will now forever endorse dating dorks. Except for this one thing. She thinks it's incredibly funny to manipulate her body part and provide a voice for it. I will, I will be just minding my own business, playing games, or working on the laptop or whatever, and then boom. Hey handsome, how was your day? Are you hungry? I bought Cheez-Its. There she is. <laughs> Dressed up. Hiked up. Um, no clothing, both hands gripping her body part, a foot from my head. Making this horrible high-pitched Grover-esque Muppet voice. <laughs> there we go. That's the text. I did the voice as well for extra emphasis. I mean, dude, I, I would find that fun. I would find that hilarious, man. I don't know. Maybe I have a weird sense of humor. <laughs> but I mean, come on, man. Like, dudes do shit like they, they fart, you know, really loudly and laugh at it and be gross. It's like, come on. Suck it up. I believe she would do that for a few months and then get bored of it. I think, you know what makes it hilarious? I think the reason she's doing it is because the dude's un it's making the dude uncomfortable, so that just makes it even funnier. If the dude would not respond to it, she probably wouldn't do it, but I think it's because it gets a reaction. It's just like, she's probably an older sibling. Without question, that is older sibling behavior right there is like... If you make a reaction to something, sometimes it just makes it funnier when they wince. <laughs> It just, it just is. She's enjoying that it's annoying him, exactly. Like, uh, no, no shit, the advice in that situation is don't do anything, just laugh, and eventually we'll either get bored of her, or it's just like, well, it's no big deal, man. Just relax. Okay, we're going to that island over there. Why can't dorks be a bad bitch? The two aren't mutually exclusive. Well, you know, not saying they can't be. It's just that guy's understanding of it. But anyway. If I was in that dude's shoes, I wouldn't complain. That sounds funny. I don't know. Maybe I just have a weird sense of humor. Looks like there's another way in over there. If that's the only bad thing she does, don't see the problem, right? Yeah. It's not, it's not even a big deal. saying there are, there are, you know, this dude is complaining about having problems with his drinking water when there are people that are out there dying of thirst. It's like, this drinking water is not the right temperature. What do I do? <laughs> Appreciate the fact that you have some fucking water. to get on that pole down there.
the right thing to do in that situation is find a suitable voice. Ah, <laughs> uh, like, just get her back. Just do the same thing, come up with a character. I like that. Yeah, then you can both laugh about it. Again, it's just, you know, the part that ki that you know that she's funny is just the fact that it's not like a, a girly voice that she's doing. She's specifically picking, like, Grover from the Muppets. That's, that's what makes it hilarious for me. That's like, yeah, someone that appreciates comedy. To be objective and fair, if it legit makes him uncomfortable, it might be worth considering. Wait, BS? If he doesn't just see the humor in it. Like, if the roles were reversed and he put his thing in her face and she wanted him to stop because it makes him uncomfortable, you see what I'm saying? Like, I think there is a consensual factor. Oh, versus, right. I get what you mean. I get what you mean, you're right. But I guess that context isn't really provided. He, he didn't say in his post, oh, I've talked to her about it and she refuses to do it. I think it's a thing that he's just silently putting up with. Like, he probably hasn't said a word. Like, I don't think he's spoken to his girlfriend about it. Otherwise, he probably would have said, hey, you know, she's my girlfriend and she did I've talked to her about this, but she doesn't stop. That's different. I think this dude is just like, this is this is happening to him and he hasn't communicated. He's just decided to go on Reddit and like ask for advice before doing the normal thing, <laughs> you know? That's my interpretation of it. Imagine that, like going to Reddit before you actually sit down and have a conversation. But yeah, I, I, I feel you, man. Like if you consider it objectively and if it is a case of like, well, the dude's communicating how he feels about, you know, said voice <laughs> acting. Well, yeah, that's a different matter. But without the context, we just have to assume that the guy hasn't expressed anything yet. Based on the context given, sounds like the dude needs to chill. Yeah. That's my interpretation of it. Just the language used, that's all. It's just... The irony is, is all. It's just... Huh. Uh-oh. No! Okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I did it. Yeah, I think the important bit of context that's missing is the communication part. That's all. I think this is one of these things where it's just there hasn't no, there hasn't been any communication. It's just like gone to a group of it's almost like the equivalent of going to a group of friends and just saying, "Hey, you know, I'm dating this new girl and this is this is what's going on without actually talking to it." 
to the situation. I don't know, man. I just, it's just... It made me laugh. Just... The ridiculous nature of it is just... I, I appreciate the nuance of the situation. I'm just saying, if I made my junk talk, I would probably give it a voice as well. Just... I don't know if it would be Grover necessarily, but... It's definitely a good choice for comedic effect. thing in the cage. I know I have to hit it with a bomb. Your junk's voice is Shakira. <laughs> what? Why Shakira? Are you gonna do the whole la 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 Exactly that. I figured as much. Like, why else would you say Shakira? Certainly been some interesting conversation. <laughs> Help pass the time. By the way, like, just to be clear, it's not that I'm hesitating to say, you know, the word, but the thing that I'm remaining, I've, I've been trying to get better at this over the years, but just sometimes when I'm playing certain games, this one in particular, because you never know, it's like I'm trying to keep the conversation without swearing too much, and it's just, with a game like Mario, I'm trying not to stray too far from the light, you know? But if this was something else, where there might not be potential for young'uns to be here, <laughs> I, I totally would have said that just completely uncensored. Which is more of a, I don't know, the vibe for the game isn't right. If you ever see a Reddit post about a girl complaining about her boyfriend's voice, <laughs> you'll know who it is. I mean, listen. You might have... You might have an idea, but most of the time there have been multiple people that have thought of the same idea. Particularly for something like art. At school times for the kids. If you're in America, sure, but, you know, not everyone's American. I guess I, I can't corrupt the minds of American children. Not that it would. <laughs> I don't know. Oh boy. Do I just round pound that? 
I feel I might be overcomplicating it. Let me get to it. No, you need explosives for sure. They should be sleeping. Yeah, it should be, but I remember myself as like maybe teen, preteen. Just I'd be up at weird hours, man. And I guess if the internet was at my fingertips and I could just access anything, I'd probably be watching streams. If you are a parent being told your kid, wait, if you are a parent being told by your kid about these combos, you'd be more confused than concerned, I guess. missing here there's probably some something I'm overlooking that's simple this is one of these things that I just don't remember because it was such a long time ago There's nothing that has a direct route to it, unless I just... Oh no, I can't go- okay, well, it's simple then. This is just a case of get good. I said, get good! Damn it. Okay, close. A little bit here. <laughs> oh crap, that was direct. That could have gone in it. That's close. Anyway, it's not the most unhinged thing we've talked about here. Or maybe not unhinged. Unhinged is probably not the right word. But like, adult thing. just think back to the very first time that I had <laughs> someone I don't know if they were a child or a parent but like you know they mentioned the fact that they wish that I didn't swear as much because you know kids and I, I swear my this my exact response and I didn't mean it I didn't mean it right I wasn't trying to be a smart ass this was just like a very Australian response but you know, my response was, shit, I'm sorry. Just knee-jerk reaction. <laughs> I, I really didn't mean to do that, but yeah. This is part of the Aussie vocabulary sometimes. Yeah, it happens from time to time. That's, can, I, I can understand it to some degree. It's just there are, there are certain games where, you know, the audience... 
can have a potential to have young people watch it because it's fair enough, it's a game that they can enjoy. Particularly Nintendo stuff, right? Like this, for example, I'm, I'm an adult, I'm a grown man, but it's a game that is for everyone. So, you know, imagine for 90% of the stream I'm being normal in the sense that I'm not really swearing and the conversation's about the game, and then suddenly it turns that way. Like, I can understand why, you know, it might be jarring or you might be upset, but the, the thing that I point to is just, you know, I do mark the stream as like, well, hey, Mature audiences and even the Twitch thing is like labeled that way. Oh, it's 25, or I'm still missing a few coins. The few Aussies you met were all about beer, the funniest jokes, and swearing. That's pretty much it. That's the thing, a lot of us, it's just very nonchalant and it just, you know, takes a while for us to really get upset about things. I mean, there are people that are Aussies that aren't that way, but in general, like, the culture here is that. It's like, I think the term we use is like larrikin. It's not the first kid's first time hearing a cuss word. Oh, for sure. Like, it, it most likely isn't, but... You know, at the same time, it's just... I don't know. I don't know if it's just something that parents want to believe that their kids don't listen to that stuff, but... You know, it does come up. Make it pretty clear that stream is not for children, though. Yeah, I know. But... The thing that I'll... I'll accept is, like... People don't read descriptions or stream names, typically. It's one of those things that... Pe people are just people. They don't read things sometimes. <laughs> That's all. And that came at a time before Twitch had it prominent. Like, they're better at it these days. Now you have... Before the stream even starts playing, it warns you about it, so they haven't really gotten it as much. Oops. Hello? Oh yeah, sorry Messiah, I forgot to say see ya. <laughs> I assume you're already gone. But thanks for hanging out. This is the midnight brain, like, keeping up conversation at this hour. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be better. I am. Sometimes I get caught up in what I'm doing that I forget. You had a full vocabulary at Cusswood and listened to Afro Man at like 10. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Um, anyway. I think the funny thing for me was that, so my parents would not accept me swearing in English. Like, I would be punished if I swore in English. Right? And you, I, I don't think they were under any illusion that, you know, I never said swear words. It was just more when I was at home, and my brothers included, we just weren't allowed to. It was just like, if we did, we'd get into deep shit. But then, the, the way they spoke at home with their Spanish, we didn't realize it at the time until later, but some of the slang they used and just, you know, they swore quite a bit in Spanish. <laughs> Quite a bit. And ugh, we still make fun of our mum for that, it's just sometimes. Carefully you said a naughty word. Okay, 
Okay, I haven't found a key yet. Anyway. My, my belief when it comes to Twitch is like, if you want to think about children and protecting children, it doesn't matter what, right? There are people that go on crusades against certain content types, and their whole claim is like, well, what if kids watch it? It's like, listen, I don't think Twitch is good for children, period. Like, it, it doesn't matter. It's just, I think anyone who's not a teenager shouldn't be on Twitch. Like, I think a teenager is bare minimum. So that's the thing, it's, you know, they, we could be playing a perfectly innocent game, and even though I did did not say any swear words, it's like, the, to the topic we were talking about, well, certainly wasn't for children. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, definitely not a place for kids in general, at least that's my view. You slip a few bad ones in front of your daughter, but she knows it's a bad word, and it's a word not supposed to be said by little kids. That's good. Something you never understood is replacement words that mean the same thing. Like, you stop yourself from saying shit by saying poop. Like, you get it. Language nuance, but it means the same thing. Yeah, and the thing is, because when you usually do that... I mean, some people genuinely say that, right? Like, that's just how they talk. But there are others that you know they're biting their tongue and you can hear it in the tone of their voice, just that they've replaced the word on the fly, like it... It's, uh... You can tell. So at that point, you may as well just say the word. At least, I don't know. Maybe I just should have said vagina. Okay, and that's the end of the stream. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> okay. Well, that took a while to get to that point. It's just a body part. Yeah, I know. To some... No. Okay. I'm just seeing if there's anywhere else I can go. <laughs> Reported unsubbed. <laughs> That's where you draw the line, really? That's where you draw the line? <laughs> Not at the, the fucking weird AI Pokemon or like... Just, man, I, I, I can't even just, I have to think long and hard on some of the conversations we've had that are just, just proving how much the internet has ruined both of us. We keep talking about a garden, but I haven't seen a garden yet. There's probably like a sub area that I'm not visiting. Oh, crap. Oops. Oh well. Hang on, I think my headset's gone flat. This one guy in Australia said vagina, get him. <laughs> oh man. Wait, I don't know. Just honestly, the way content on Twitch is these days... You just don't know what will get banned. I 
I said the vagina not- I said vagina not the C word, fake Australian. Okay, so, let's talk about the C word. The C word is something that I've had to really, like, train myself. To not have that reaction when I get really angry. Or, well, frustrated. And here's the reason. It's- it's not because I'm doing it to, like, you know, be, uh, be sensitive and be, uh, like, you know, thinking about that people don't like that word. Look, it's- it's a term in Australia we use it. It's hard to get away from it. However, YouTube will absolutely fucking punish you if you use that word. Like, from an algorithm perspective. Like, it's been discovered that you, you have to avoid saying that word. Like, your videos will take a hit <laughs> if you say that word. Just that word specifically. Even when I say it, I try to make it say can't, you know? I try to say it like that. It's... it's been tricky. Um... And because I upload my VODs to YouTube, that's why I, I don't want to, like, I guess, sabotage it, you know? And it's it's such a minor thing, it's just, I, I can go without saying it. It's just, of course, sometimes it's a knee-jerk reaction, and it does slip. Which is un-Australian. <laughs> But that's the thing, it's not even Australian specific, like, I know British people that use the word as well, it's not just us. I think it's more, and I, I don't want to, like, say it in a way where it's like, oh, you know, I'm putting blame here, but typically the ones that I've found that take issue with the word most tend to be Americans. Not all, but like... In my experience, when I've come across someone not liking me using that word, it tends to be that. In the context of streaming. Like, of course, in general conversation, if you're supposed to be formal and then you're dropping that word, well, yeah, someone's gonna frown upon it. Like, I, w I wouldn't use that word in a meeting, for example. Like, there's etiquette to follow still. Whoops. C word is a term of affection in some parts of the UK. Yeah, it's the same here. So, yeah. But, you know, it's... I, I think I can talk about that and explain it and people would understand and appreciate it. But at the end of the day, we're talking about an algorithm here and it's just like, well... I can- I can make a moral stand and just say, well, no, I'm gonna say this word. What's wrong with the word? There's nothing wrong with the word. You're giving the word too much power. Or I can just not say the word, and it's not that big a deal. Like, I, I can go without it. I'm capable of it. Well, that's where that one was. How did I not find that? I'm surprised, because I, I came here. Anyway. Twist and turn up treasure. Oh, that's it? Well, th th there's the key, so I'm not sure. It's definitely a pick your battles type situation. Yeah. You know, it doesn't take away from the experience, right? Because I still curse probably more than I should. <laughs> For like, in the interest of content, right? I probably swear a little more than I should. However, like that word is just straight up a, a big no-no. It's just, there's no gray area if you use it. It's bad for your content. But, you know, with F-bombs, it's like, as long as the pretty spread apart and it's not the main focus of your video, you don't tend to get punished. 
something like as as long as it's not in the first couple of minutes of your video and it's not constant, then you're fine. I don't know what I'm looking for. Other than the key. There's gotta be some cave or something that I haven't visited where this key's hosted. Maybe we should talk to Toad. Did this Toad just say, oh well? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that was a that was a pretty clear oh well. Definitely not a word you use here in a good way. But if you say n it knowing you don't mean anything negative by it, wouldn't bother you. Yeah, I think it's just the other thing is the more people talk with people from other parts of the world the more that it becomes, I guess, accepting, because then they understand that, oh, contextually this word isn't really the same. But yeah, it's okay. I think, um... You know, I'm not going to get my Australia card revoked for not saying the C word. <laughs> I have no idea where this key is. I feel like I've explored every crevice of the map, but who knows. Oh, I should have gone to the shop and gotten... Damn. The, uh, the souvenir. Go get it, and then I think we're good for the time being. And, uh, uh, I don't know. It's just the matter of this key. Which, there'll, there'll be some that I will probably ultimately have to ask Toad about, but that's fine. As long as most of them I figure out <laughs> on my own. <laughs> Damn it. Oh no, oh no, I meant to do that. Yep. Intentional. Intentional. Completely intentional. Planned. save some time, you know, instead of having to climb back up. It's probably a really bad idea. <laughs> that was not worth the time. Okay, but at least the suspicion of that has gone. Alright, let's leave. We're good. I don't... I think I did well. If you look at it... That's a lot of them. Oh, hold on. What is this? Hmm. Maybe this is a clue. Hold on. Go to the very top. One sec. I'm aware that I could have done this at any point, but... So what are these islands on the far distant? I've gotten that moon.
Okay, so there's like an island. Hang on. I'm just trying to see what it's talking about. There's like something isolated at the very back. That? To be referring to yeah okay hang on hang on hang on oh crap oh the salvage <laughs> okay that was nothing uh yeah okay I'm out hey gummy what's up this key. <laughs> it's just bothering me. It's the only thing I haven't figured out. Alright, I'm leaving. Again, just doing as much as I can. Without driving people crazy. I think I did well. If I can get 80% of the moons in the world, I'll be happy. Just for the initial, you know, visit to the world. Just found enough moons to fix up the Odyssey. Thank goodness. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill. Well, no. <laughs> oh, we've arrived at Metro City. Awesome. Well, all right, we finally made it. Things don't look so good, though. Look, Bowser's ship. Let's go. Man, this looks pretty good upscaled. Okay. I'm sorry, but I really don't have the time to chat now. I need to figure out a way to save my city. Things have been in utter chaos since that Brutus monster went up. Your roommate started working at this place that does soup dumplings. Oh man, yeah. Those are those are my favorite. Those are like Xiaolong Bao or whatever. I forget what their name is. They are, they are great. Okay, just making sure, just making sure. Oh yeah, flies. Yeah, this part. <laughs> this was a little gross. Just the things growing up. This world is just... It's famous because, well, the city, but also just some of the things you have to do as far as this world is concerned, man. Okay. 
but I got it stuck. This has the jump rope stage and it has... There's like an obstacle course that you have to run on this. Driving games are not my thing. So you, you may laugh. It's a pasta, put it in a box. Deliver it. <laughs> Alright, well, I won't stop. I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> I won't finish the song. I can already visit the store. Devil's ass. I just want Kaido stack we found. How cat? We found devil's ass. These voices, are these supposed to represent New Yorkers? I mean a muffled New Yorker. How cat? We found devil's ass. You hope not. <laughs> Beautiful day. <laughs> Do I fit in now? Oh, they got the Mario Maker stuff. That's cool. like LA Noir, well, I guess not LA Noir, Film Noir. Film Noir Mario. It's a game I haven't played. I kind of missed the boat on it. Okay. Yeah, I missed that game. I never played it. Am I thinking of the right game, or am I mixing up titles here? <laughs> Oops! Hey, Nick, how's it going, man? I probably shouldn't be exploring the city yet. Like, I think I'm supposed to do the sequence and then everything else is done. Alright, let's just go down the intended path. Instead of deviating. I can hit that from here. I like the city's design, but I think it's just the fact that there are, you know, I guess people. <laughs> it just implies that Mario is not really a person, it's just Mario is more like a creature. The, the proportions are all different, and... Yeah. So maybe it's a case of just Mario's... 
Good. Um, like a video game character or a cartoon character visiting real life, you know? You had the same pe feeling when people showed up in Sonic games. Right, yeah, they did that too, didn't they? See, I never really played any of the Sonic games. I'm aware of them. I, the only one I've played is the Sega Master System one. Of the first game, which apparently isn't the same as the Genesis version. Or Mega Drive version, whatever you prefer. It's just... Whatever you want to call it. But I do remember seeing, um... I don't know which game it is, but there's a Sonic game where, like... There's a romantic interest that's a human girl, and it just looks weird. Like, well, not... Like an anime girl, I guess, is the better way to put it. I don't remember which game it is. I haven't played them. I just remember seeing the image and I was like, what? <laughs> what is this? Oh. I know, I'm, I'm taking forever to get to this part. There we go. This part's cool, though. Man, and... Again, I gotta bring up that animation that I talked about last time. Just... <sighs> Should show it, but like, you know, of course talk about the creator and everything. But it's, it's such a good animation, it's just... It makes me laugh every time. Missing here. I guess I gotta climb. I think I'm confusing the sequence because there's one where you have to fight a boss and it's like up that building. I don't think it's this part. Yeah, like look at this. I mean, how tall would... Let's assume, you know, these dudes aren't six foot. Like, if if that is average height, which is, like, say, 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, I don't know what it is in feet, but, you know, how tall is he? He's, like, child size. It's either everyone is, you know, gigantic, like NBA players. <laughs> They're like, you know, six foot over six feet, or it's just Mario is freakishly short. Which is it? I mean, may as well, right? Like, I can get these now. Oh, what have you done?
Alright, what's the next place to climb up? Here we go! Oh no, like, okay, I, I was about to try and make a leap of faith, but then I kind of figured there's probably an easier way to do it. 13th of the first, what about it? Not because the date changed on the, on the moon. I mean, it is 1 a.m. It's Friday, it's fine. Granted, oh crap! Ugh. Ugh. No! Ugh. <laughs> Granted, I am supposed to be doing something in the morning, but I'll be fine. It's not work related. time is the movie uh i have no idea i'm just gonna meet up in the morning at like 9 a.m so it's fine i don't get enough sleep but we're also getting a coffee in the morning so it'll be okay either way and if i'm that tired i can nap when i get home good <laughs> shit oops Yeah, this is what happens to me like after after midnight. It's it's okay. It's okay. It's my platforming skills. Not great. <laughs> I need a minute. Oh my god, that was dumb. Okay, I'm fine. That was probably a new sound. I don't think I've ever made that sound before. <laughs> Hold this my knees. She's eight. What are you doing? Why, why is this causing me problems? This should not be causing me... Why is this causing me problems? Okay, I'm, I'm playing poorly. Yeah, fixed camera, I guess. It's also just... Just the time, you know... The skills go out the window, or start going out the window. I call it the midnight brain, that's fine. Yeah, the daughter watched the original movie, so she understood the movie. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if she's watched Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I bet they probably watched it with her before the movie. Okay. 
I'm sorry. Oh, I'm making such horrendous noises. I need to go to bed. <laughs> It's uh, just platformers that do this to me. No other genre. Maybe kart races. Kart races do it too, but like... It's just because... Uh, I played these kind. <laughs> I... I, <laughs> I played platformers ever since I was a little kid. And so when I mess up, it just feels catastrophic because I just feel like I... I know it, me at a younger age could do better. A lot of better! Okay, I'm fine. Please, I, I don't want to have a conniption. <laughs> Just let me get to the top of this. Dear Reddit, I just started going out with this guy, and he's great, you know, nice guy. But he just keeps making weird noises when he plays video games, and he sounds like Gollum being strangled. How do I get him to stop? Do I dare? Like, I know there's something up there. There's more. Okay. Yep. Worthwhile. being so greedy, it's not funny. Okay, everything's fine. Well, that took a couple of minutes of my life expectancy away. <laughs> This is this is what I was thinking of. It's so human, Dad. That thing is trying to suck up all the juice from our city. Juice, huh? Visually very cool. like a hyperdimensional wiggler. It's really cool. Oh, 
Nein. Oh, come on. Imagine showing to this as kids as the new Mario game back in the SNES days or something. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's just wild to imagine. Even if you go back as like 15 years ago, or even 10, that's still pretty cool. Well, maybe not 10, because this game, this game is, can you believe it, seven years old? Like. <laughs> Let that sink in. Yeah. 15. It has to be 15. Yeah. Like, man, where did the time go, huh? Yeah, we got rid of the big bug thing, and the weather cleared up. But Bowser must have gotten away in the scuffle. We should probably get back to chasing him. We don't have enough power moons. Okay. One thing that I found fascinating was, like, um, footage of beta content, like, just games when they were in their beta phase, and it's just stuff that was ultimately unreleased. And there was, a while back, there was, like, a series of videos that was being made. I think they never found out, like, who was responsible for it, but they made, like, fake footage of Mario 64 beta. So I think the way, like, it became very believable was they kind of made it fit the existing beta footage. But then they made up some other footage and, you know, they had this whole narrative going about just how, um, the guy was, like, who recorded the videos was trying to show footage to a relative or something. But it was kind of cool just imagining content that got cut. And I guess... The fo the video stopped suddenly, and people started making more in its place. And now it's to the point, there's like a whole ROM hack for it, where you can... I forget what it's called, but more or less the spirit of it is just... Trying to give you the Mario 64 beta experience, but obviously the it, it's like completely made up. And it's just the kind of thing that, as a kid, I would have been like, man, this was cool. Or even just playing Pokemon Red and imagining that there was more content than what there really was, you know? Like the whole thing about having a, a fight where you could uh, beat Professor Oak after your rival. Do I dare? Oh, this is horrible. This, this is the most horrible thing. I hate this. This is the worst moon in the game. Damn it, hang on. I'm, uh, this is not the time to do it, but I'll, I'll try. A couple times. Am I going to play yellow? No. Uh, just because there's not much reason to. I mean, I did... T okay, to be fair, I did play yellow. For one stream. Because, you know, I messed up the whole starter situation. But playing through yellow, there's not too much of an incentive. Because there's... I'm not going to say there's not a lot of differences, but there are differences. And I don't think they're significant enough to play through it again. Damn it! <laughs> oh, I hate this. I don't know. Why, why am I doing this to myself right now? Hang on. It's a camera thing. Okay. 
Maybe gold and silver. Or crystal. That one, maybe. It just depends how interested people are. It's just... As much as I like playing through red, not a whole people, not a whole lot of people watch that one. But I did find personal enjoyment in playing it. Probably fine. Just ignore that, just ignore the moon. IMO, this should stop at 50. I hate... <laughs> 50 is the threshold and then, well... Okay. Alright. Well, as much as I want to keep going, I think this is where I have to pull it quits for tonight. Oh, yeah. This was fun. <laughs> it's been like three hours. I just noted the time. I need to get some semblance of sleep, because uh, I do got to get up. But yeah, uh, hope everyone enjoyed. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end as well. And if you want to support the channel over there, the easiest way to do so is just click buttons like the like button, or you can watch me do other things as well by clicking one of the videos that pop up. Either way, it does help the channel out a lot. So thank you to those that do do that. I really appreciate it quite a bit. Mario's mood is my mood right now, <laughs> so I need to go rest. But uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye, YouTube.